Oh, yeah. And if anyone does have any questions, uh, please uh, put it in the chat or the Q&A box and we'll do the questions at the end. So we'll allow Yinji to uh, do the full presentation for us. Perfect. Can everyone see my screen, my yes. slides here? Yeah. Yes, cool. we can see. So we got great attendance. It's about 49 um, people. That's great. Um, I thanks Yes Education for this amazing opportunity. And today I'm just going to give you an overview uh, information about our university and then popular program and then lastly admission process. Uh, the training will last approximately about 45 minutes and then we will leave 10 minutes Q&A session at the end. Perfect. Yep. So let's get started. Oh, sorry. There you go. Right. Something is not right. Okay. Apologies. Just no ahead. problem. Where where are you today, Yinji? I'm actually working from home today because oh, I got a few uh, Asian visits in the city. Um, yeah, because oh. I live in the Brisbane city and I based yes. in Springfield campus. Okay, it's great. Quite convenient to travel. Okay. Right. Um, so in terms of our current ranking, we ranked top two university worldwide and the uh, 2023 Times Higher Education ranking, we ranked top 350. That is uh, equivalent to uh, RMIT and many um mm university in Australia. And we also ranked uh, top 410 in QS uh, 2024 ranking. We are the fastest mover in Australia. We moved up more than 250 spots on the ladder. So we are quite a proud, of, uh, proud of that achievement. And in terms of young, young university ranking, we ranked top uh, 55 worldwide. Young university means um, the university founded less than 50 years old. So we are quite proud of that achievement as well. In terms of QS ranking, we are, uh, sorry, in terms of the um, QS rating, we rated five star in terms of teaching, research, internationalization and employability, well-rounded uh, five star ratings. Uh, our university, we are a medium-sized university with the uh, total student number is around 24,000. And international student is around 2,400. So it's the proportion is around 10%. So student will have a really good uh, language environment and they will commingle with the uh, domestic student, uh, which will offer them more authentic Australian university. So in terms of the uh, graduate starting salaries, we ranked uh, top four in Australia. As many of you may know that Australia has more than 40 universities, uh, including pub public and the private, and we ranked top four. So we are quite proud of that achievement. This is largely due to many of our programs have the, has the industry placement embedded that is arranged by the university. So we prepare our students way before they enter the workforce. So when they enter the workforce, the, their employability is really good and the employers really like our graduates. And uh, it's, Engineering is our uh, strong uh, subject area. So we are ranked number three in Australia for graduate starting salaries in engineering. And it is also the uh, top, it's a top employment rate in our university as well with the undergraduate engineering student uh, employed, 93% of them were employed uh, full time, four months after they graduate and followed by education and training at 86 and business and management at 85. So we have three campuses in Queensland. Toowoomba is our main campus. It's around 90 minutes away from Brisbane city. And Toowoomba is the capital city of Darling Down region, which is a big agricultural uh, hub. And it has very convenient um, lifestyle with the major shopping center or the um, entertainment in town. And also, because it's our main campus, majority of the program will be offered in our Toowoomba campus. We have a Bachelor of Aviation, Engineering, Science, and Allied Health program in our Toowoomba campus. And it has it also has really affordable on-site accommodation, which starts from 113 per week which would be unheard of if you're going to the major city. 
And next is our Ipswich campus. Uh, this campus uh, is around 45 minutes from Brisbane City. We purchased from UQ back in 2016. So we deliver uh, our allied health program like Bachelor of Nursing, Physiotherapy, and few science program in our Ipswich campus. So it is really beautiful heritage uh, buildings with the uh, top-notch facilities. And next would be our Springfield campus, which I am based uh, at the moment. It's only 35 minutes drive from Brisbane City, and it has direct train from Brisbane City to Springfield as well, only takes 40 minutes. We deliver a majority of the uh, education, engineering, media and communication, aviation, IT program in our Springfield campus. So straight campuses are all located in the regional area with Toowoomba being category three regional. So students were eligible for extra two years on their post-study work visa. And if you change Springfield, students were eligible for another year on their post-study work visa. And as you can see on my slide, um, if the students study PhD program in Toowoomba campus, they can get up to eight years on their P PSW. And Springfield and Ipswich, seven years. If they study masters, Toowoomba is seven years as well. Next, we'll move on to our facility. That's our Ipswich library, Springfield library, lecture room. As you can see here, it's very modern facility. Nursing lab, we have uh, six nursing lab in Ipswich campus and in Toowoomba campus as well. That's our Mount Kent observatory. If anyone will have a chance to visit us uh, next year fan trip, we will open to our agent to see the star in the observatory. And that's our on-site accommodation in Toowoomba with the uh, really affordable uh, rent uh, fees. So student, this is the room with shared bathroom and kitchen, uh, basic furniture is included and all the bills are included as well. Fly simulators, that's for our aviation students. We have a two fly simulators on campus, one in Toowoomba, one in Springfield. In terms of student support, uh, apart from affordable accommodation, we also arrange a free airport pickup for the student who first arrived in Australia from Brisbane Airport as well as Toowoomba Airport. Um, they need to book through our website seven days prior to their departure. Student accommodation. So like I mentioned, Residential College is our uh, owned by UniSQ. Uh, it's our Toowoomba on-site accommodation. Starts from 113 to 159, uh, 58 for, with the room with shared uh, bathroom and kitchen. And different room types, the price varies. It's very affordable. It's not just a accommodation. It is actually a residential college that the college will regularly organize the activities, uh, social events like excursions, sports competition, and end of the year um, formal dinners. So student that who lives in the on-site accommodation, their engagement level is very high and the, the feedback is very positive. And they will make, they will have opportunity to make a, lifelong friends in the uh, residential college. Ipswich, we provide, it is our, it is the uh, student accommodation providers that around that Ipswich campus. And Springfield, it is also a student accommodation provider. However, the accommodation is actually located in inside of the campus. As Springfield is close to Brisbane city and the next to the uh, campus, there are major shopping center very convenient, so the rental price is slightly more expensive than other campus. So I compared the cost of living uh, across our three campuses and the uh, Brisbane city. As you can see, the biggest saving comes from rent uh, with all the bills and parking, everything is included in the uh, rent. So when you compare Toowoomba cost of living to Brisbane, the weekly saving can get up to $300. So over the, over the duration of their study, the saving will be significant. Across our campuses, the cost of living in general is lower than Brisbane area. Uh, <clears throat> in terms of language requirements, for majority of the bachelor program, our English entry requirement is IELTS 6.0, no band less than 
uh, with few exceptions like Bachelor of Nursing, Medical Lab Science, and um, other allied health program. Uh, for postgraduate program, IOT is 7.5, <clears throat> no band less than 6.0, and Bachelor of Nursing 7.0 and Education at 7.5. The good thing is all the program, the English package is available with us. However, the nursing student will still need to uh, submit the official IELTS score upon entering their bachelor program. Next. Next is our scholarship 2024. We offer 10% international student scholarship across all degree program, including quota-based program, which is nursing, physiotherapy, and occupational therapy. And that's for the duration of their studies, as long as they maintain the passing grade, there's no GPA requirements. And it is uh, automatic scholarship that applied on the letter of offer. There's no separate uh, application needed. And on-campus, online, external study mode, or eligible for this 10% scholarship. Next, we are our popular programs by uh, subject. So Master for Professional Engineering, um, we are the EA accredited program, two years, uh, offered in our Tulma campus. So on, on today's slides, we will see the uh, cry course at the end. That means it is it is included in the 4A5 extended list. So Master of Professional Engineering being included in the extended list offered in our Toowoomba campus, the student will get up to seven years post-study work visa. We have the three intakes for this program, March, July, and October. And we have nine different specialization to choose from. We are the only university in Australia to provide agricultural engineering with EA accreditation. And engineering subject itself, we ranked top 175 in 2023. And postgraduate full-time employment rate is even higher than undergraduate, is at the 96.2%. So majority of the post-study engineering, um, they don't provide industry experience opportunity. However, with us, we guarantee 60 days of work experience embedded in the program. Uh, in order to apply for this program, students will need to have the uh, undergraduate engineering background. Next will be our engineering uh, technology and Bachelor of Engineering Honors program, both included in the extended list. The intake is January, May, and September. So from 2024, majority of our program will transit to a trimester academic calendar. The intake is January, May, and September. However, Master of Professional Engineering is March, July, and October, as I showed you earlier in earlier slides. And nursing remains um, semester base, which is February and July. So with uh, four years Bachelor of Engineering, we have a eight different specialization to choose from with silver electronic ele electrical mechatronic is available in both in Toowoomba and Springfield campus. Master of Science also student will be eligible for seven years post-study work visa and agricultural science there because Toowoomba is a big agricultural hub so for the agricultural science graduate, there will be no trouble to find a job. There are six jobs for every agricultural science graduates in the region. And Bachelor of Science, we have 11 majors to choose from. And this program, regardless of the specialization, the industry placement is guaranteed and arranged by the university. And the most popular specialization will be plant and agricultural science and food science among international students with three intakes and also included in the extended list. Um, Bachelor of Agricultural Technology and Management. It is also included in the extended list. Uh, we are the only university in Queensland to provide this kind of program only offered in our Toowoomba campus and industry placement and project is guaranteed as well. 
nursing and allied health. So Bachelor of Nursing, it is definitely our bread and butter in our university, also with included in the extended list. We offer nursing program across two campuses with two intakes. So the quota is um, more than other universities. For 2024 February intake, we still have a spot available in both campuses. And tuition fee is around 32,000 with 10% international student scholarship, it will come down to around 29,000 per year. Uh, we accept IELTS and PTE test within two test settings within six months and English package is also available. And we offer above industry standard uh, practical experiences with 840 hours embedded in the program. So in Toowoomba and Ipswich region, social uh, assistance and healthcare is the uh, biggest employment industry. So for most of our uh, nursing students, they will go on their placement in their first year, second semester. So after that first placement, they will have a, through that placement, they will have a part-time job opportunities in the aged care facility. So they can subsidize their uh, tuition fees or cost of living. Medical, lab medical laboratory science, um, also included in the extended list, offered in Toowoomba campus only. We are the only university in Australia to offer three years program here. Other universities, it's usually four years. With us, it's three years with EMS accreditation as well. And this means that student can save one year cost of living and also tuition fee, and also be able to enter the workforce one year earlier than their peers. It has 80 days of placement five, uh, over five semesters. So first year, sec from first year, second semester, they will go on the placement. However, there are limited uh, placement spots available in Toowoomba area. So students will need to travel to Brisbane or the surrounding. So they need to arrange their own accommodation and uh, transportation. Next is our psychology program. Uh, Psychology program, we attract some organic applications from Southeast Asia, like Singapore and Malaysia. Uh, with our bachelor degree, it is honor embedded bachelor. So students no need to apply for their honors program separately. And it has relevant industry accreditation as well. Only offered in the Ipswich for both master and bachelor. Uh, bachelor of Paramedicine. It is included in the extended list, and however, not many internet, not many university offers this program to international students, and we do get few inquiries just pure because it is not included in the migration list. So, student that chose this program is purely from their interest. So, it is offered in our Ipswich campus. IELTS entry requirement is seven. English package is available to direct enter, directly enter the program. Physiotherapy and occupation therapy. So these are the program that we introduced from 2024. Uh, if we are talking about onshore year 12 graduates, the uh, advantage to study with us will be relevant, relatively low ATAR entry compared to other universities. And also the tuition fee is very affordable. It is around 33 since international scholarship, it is also eligible for this program. So after scholarship, the annual tuition fee is around 29000 which is very affordable com considering it's an allied health program. And one intake each year in January. Bachelor of Sports and Exercise Science and Bachelor of Sports and Exercise Science Honours. So the difference between these two is um, the duration as well as the industry placement hours and the entry English entry requirement. So for um, three years program, English entry requirement is 6.5, no band less than 6.0. And student will, be, uh, will become an accredited exercise scientist. And with 140 hours of pro professional placement, 
However, the four years on a degree will qualify them to become an exercise physiologist. And English entry requirement is slightly higher than three years program is at 7.0 and package is available to direct enter the program. Um, biomedical science offered in Toowoomba campus only and upon graduate student will be eligible to sit on the uh, GAMSA, which is the uh, medical entrance exam in Australia. Master of Public Health uh, offered in Ipswich campus only and student will need to have bachelor degree in area of health with the GPA greater than 4.8. If they don't have a bachelor degree in health, then any bachelor with GPA greater than 4.8 with the one year full-time experience in healthcare setting, also eligible to apply for this program. Uh, information technology uh, is another second, popular, second most popular program among international students. We have a uh, four different masters uh, in IT field. Master of Information System, Master of Data Science, Master of Cybersecurity, as well as Master of Information Technology. So information system, as you can see, it's included in the extended list offered across Toowoomba and Springfield campus. It is master level program. However, English entry is only 6.0, no band less than 5.5. And students don't need to have relevant background to apply this program. So it will be suitable for the student who wants to change the profession or looking for you know, a migration pathway later down the track, because it has ACS accreditation and it is also included in the occupation list. And tuition fee is around 31,000. 10% scholarship after that, it is around 20, uh, $28,000 per, per year. And Master of Data Science also has a ACS accreditation only offered in Toowoomba campus with three different intakes. Master of Cybersecurity offered in Toowoomba and Springfield two campuses. However, the ACS accreditation is currently pending. We are expecting it in 2024. Uh, entry requirement is the same, IELTS 6.0, no relevant background needed. Bachelor of Information Technology uh, offered in Toowoomba and Springfield campus. With our information technology program, regardless it's bachelor or master, it has the industry certification embedded. So like Cisco certification, CompTIA, it will enhance the student employability greatly. Um, some employers specifically looking for this industry certification when they're selecting the candidates. So with our Bachelor of uh, Information Technology offered across two different campuses with three uh, intakes and also has ACS accreditation. And tuition fee is very affordable. It's around 29,000 without scholarship. If you apply scholarship is around 26,000. Surveying and built environment. Um, I'm not sure if you are familiar with this spatial science technology. Uh, we are attracting a few organic applications from Malaysia and Thailand. Um, they have this specialization over there. Um, Master of Spatial Science, it is included in the extended list. So a student will have that seven years post-study work visa. And the occupation is actually a uh, spatial scientist occupation and skill assessing authority is a beta assess. So student will need one year work experience, but with seven years post-study work visa, I don't see that will be a problem. Um, for this program, student will need to have a science background, engineering, IT or mathematics background to apply for this. And the specialization is um, GIS and surveying two different specializations. Um, Spatial Bachelor of Construction and Spatial Science Technology. Um, do we have any inquiries regarding construction program? I'll just uh, 
briefly mentioned the um, program on, offered in Springfield, not very popular among international students. Um, however, this has the relevant industry accreditation and 60 days work experience embedded as well. Uh, same with the uh, spatial science technology offered in Toowoomba and Springfield with the three intakes. And it has Surveying and Spatial Science Institute Australia membership accreditation. So student can um, apply for skill assessment through SSSI. Business and management. So Bachelor of Aviation is our signature program at UniSQ. We have two flight simulators on campus, one based in Toowoomba, one based in Springfield. Aviation, Bachelor of Aviation has two specializations. One is aviation management. It is more business um, aspect that students study aviation related business units. And fly operation, that's where we train students to become a commercial pilot. Uh, offered across Toowoomba and Springfield campus with one intake only, January. And when the student study flight operation, they will start uh, first two year, they will study theory and flight simulator units with UniSQ. And third year, they will go on the uh, third, uh, third party flight training school to do what, to conduct one year flight training. So at the moment, we have uh, three partnered schools, one based in Toowoomba, Quintus uh, Pilot Academy, and one based on the Gold Coast, Air Gold Coast, and one in Adelaide. Um, so first two-year flight training, the tuition fee is around 26000 They will pay to UniSQ, and the third year flight training, they will pay to the, uh, the flight training school. Bachelor of Accounting, because um, next from next year, we run the trimester academic calendar. So students will have an opportunity to accelerate their studies, which is complete their degree in two years. They can save one year cost of living. Accounting is offered in Toowoomba and Springfield, both campuses with CPA accreditation. Master of Business, again, offered in Toowoomba and Springfield with seven different specializations. And students will need to have a bachelor degree in business to apply for this program. If they don't, they can use um, three years work experience at the supervisor level to apply this master program. Bachelor of Education, we have uh, three specializations from early childhood, primary and secondary all included in the uh, extended list offered across Toowoomba and Springfield campus with Gen and May 2 intakes. Tuition fee is very affordable, is around 26,000. Uh, if you include 10% scholarship, that is around 24,000. However, the English entry requirement is quite high, 7.5, but we do have an English package uh, available to directly enter this program. In terms of admission, we use our own uh, application portal called Omega. Uh, required documents is standard for um, all applications. So a certified passport, academic transcript, English evidence, course synopsis if the student uh, applying for a credit exemption, and CV if the student has work experience. I, just, I wanted to stress the, uh, in terms of academic transcript, even if the student applying for second bachelor, they will still need to submit the uh, high school transcript because some of the bachelor program has the prerequisite. So we need to have see the academic transcript to determine whether they meet the entry requirements. And for onshore, the current visa and COE and also if the student is currently studying, then they will need to submit the uh, academic transcript just to determine they are actually studying. And we are trying to uh, aiming for two weeks turnaround time at this stage. And 
after the student received the letter of offer or conditional letter of offer, if they want to progress to the next stage, we will require students to sign the acceptance. At the moment, we have a, we are, we have a high volume of application. So we would like to student to accept the offer to determine they are a genuine student. They wanted to progress to the next stage. So once the student accept the offer and return the uh, conditional documents, our admission team will go ahead assess their GTE. So once the GTE assessment is good to go, we will send out the payment link. So after we receive the payment, COE will be issued within 48 hours. Next is our English program. We offer uh, our English in Toowoomba campus. Level starts from IELTS 4.5 up to 7.0 at this stage. So next intake is 16th of October. So if you have any nursing students that English just sits in 6.5, they can package with this October and, and apply for student visa in one go. And 10 weeks tuition is around 4,280. 10% scholarship is unfortunately can't be used for this program. And for our Springfield campus, we have our partnered uh, UIL school to provide our English in the Springfield. Through them, the placement test is available. And next the intake is on the uh, 23rd of October. Uh, to summarize our highlight is the uh, employability as majority of the, our majority of our program has industry placement embedded. So the graduate uh, full-time employment rate and start starting salary is very good. Affordability, we are the public university ranked top four in Queensland just after UQ, QUT and Griffiths. But the tuition fee ranges from 26,000 to 38,000. So with 10% scholarship that comes down to even more, even more affordable and with the affordable cost of living across Red Campus as well. And industry collaboration, we have a Quintus Future Pilot Program and John Deere pro, uh, and partnership with John Deere through our agriculture engineering. And location wise, we located in the regional area with the great access to Brisbane city. So that's the highlight of the uh, Uni SQ today. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you. Thank you, Yinji, for another great training session with us. Uh, yeah, I think you summarized it really well. Uh, and just to go through all of the, the, the diverse courses that you have, I think it just goes to show everyone um, how brilliant uh, USQ at, um, how brilliant USQ is. Uh, there's so many great programs there and really affordable. And the entry requirements are quite fair as well. And I think you covered some even master courses that only require uh, 6.0 uh, yes. for IELTS. So that that's quite quite attractive uh, for, for a lot of students um, and those great scholarships there uh, as well. So yeah, if anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to type them in the Q&A box or I may allow you to uh, use your audio as well. But let's have a look at the questions first here. Nilobon asked about the English pathway programs. Yes, Yinji just covered that in the last slide there. Uh, you can see, um, yeah, the entry requirements there for EAP 1, 2, 3, and so on. And you can see quite a lot of intake dates as well. So I think that's pretty clear. And Yinji mentioned that uh, the fee there, um, there's no scholarship uh, for that uh, as well. So they will be the fees for, for English and the scholarship will be for the main programs. Um, it would be great if you mentioned which major subject have to for their 12. I think he means, Barun, I think you mean like the academic requirement uh, for for each course. Uh, I think I'll get back to you later on that. Um, yeah, what about the PTE requirements uh, for for each course? Okay, um, so I'll, sh I'll quickly flip to that slice, English entry requirement. Yeah, 
So yeah. as you can see for I 6.0 equivalent, PTE is 50 and 6.5 is 58, 7.0 is 65. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, Himshi, I think I hope that covers your uh, your question. Uh can you uh we got Jawad ask about the the QS ranking, yeah. Yep, there you go. <laughs> okay, so that's QS, we ranked top four hundred and ten in twenty twenty four. So yeah. Yeah, okay, that's great. We can see. Yeah. Yeah, there's the QS rankings there. And then you can also see the times uh, ranking as well. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Maybe you could talk a little bit about, um, in terms of GTE, um, the, the gaps, if you have a student, uh, what, what's like the maximum gap you could require um, upon a student completing high school and then wanting mm -hmm. to apply for a bachelor, what would be the, the maximum gap you could accept? Uh, it will depend on the academic history as well. If they already have a bachelor and then yeah. apply for a second bachelor, then I would, the gap cannot be more than um, 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, also, they will need to show really solid employment history as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. How how about from uh, high school to bachelor? High school the to bachelor, um, again, 10 years is acceptable. It depends okay. on the country level as well. Yes. And also their um, work history. Sure. As sure. long as they can provide all the evidence, we will consider. Yeah. Um, we got one attendee ask, mm -hmm. do you accept GED? Uh, perhaps you could explain what GD, GED is. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, I think it must be another academic uh, curriculum. Yeah, perhaps uh, the attendee, you could explain what GED is and then we'll come back to that. Uh, the gap accepted after high school, we just uh, answer that question. Yes, we will provide the slides, Jawad. Don't worry, we will provide the slides. Uh, diploma accepted after 10th. If the student is doing job after diploma, will the profile be accepted? I think you mean uh, after year 10, if the student does a diploma. Um, I think we'd ha yeah, him, she would have to know which country the student is applying from as well. And then we'll let you know the the academic requirements there. What is the minimum annual income required for a student? Um, yeah, Yinji, what what would you say right now? Um, making an application, what uh, what would you say the uh, the financial uh, the financial background would be necessary in order to uh, apply? Uh, for level two countries, we don't require yes. finance um yeah. for however uh, for level three i think the australian government newly announced the uh, new uh benchmark point so yes. we are essentially one year uh one year tuition fees and yeah. one year uh living cost living cost yes and the uh travel uh cost as well so yeah. i guess um, it depends on the which which what program that they uh applying let's say if it's nursing then 32,000 annual tuition plus another 30 30,000 yeah cost living cost and then travel around 60 65 60 yeah that sounds right mm -hmm. we got another question here um uh, from Pari she asks uh current international students are around 10 percent at usq yeah. and what's the appetite to increase it to <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you know, our tuition fee is already quite affordable, so our profit margin isn't that much. So at the moment, we will re maintain this 10%. I think slowly from next year, we'll, we will phase out like many other universities. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think 
yeah, uh, to answer the question as well, um, yeah, it's not going to be up to 90%. <laughs> <laughs> Just want a, a sustainable amount of mm. international student. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, these questions have been gone over. All right. Um, yeah, so from... From next year, you've got quite a lot of courses uh, for trimester. Uh, there will yes. be three three intakes. So I think that's interesting as well. A mm -hmm. um, lot of flexibility for students to apply. Uh, I think that's uh, I think that's great as well. Uh, let's see, any more question? Uh, just I'm curious about the aviation. Mm -hmm. um, so you said the first two years, they will yep. pay to USQ. And then the third year, they pay to the... Uh, aviation uh, school, right? Yes, correct. Do you, do you know roughly the fee for that third year? It's a bit more, right? I think it's, yeah, it's it's quite quite expensive. I think it's minimum eighty thousand per year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we yeah. do get um applications from, especially from Philippines and Malaysia for aviation yes. students. And Philippines. yeah, the good thing with uh. With stud studying with us is that third year flight training is already quite expensive, so they mm. can save the first two year tuition fees and put towards the third year flight training. Because when yeah. you compare to those theory parts study tuitions, RMIT, UniSA is nearly like forty thousand per year. But yeah. With us, it's only twenty six thousand, and 26. upon graduation, you will have the CASA accredited um mm -hmm. certificate, anyways. So yeah. Um, and yeah, and I think though uh, Yinji went over some interesting courses as well, like uh, cybersecurity, uh, mm -hmm. quite a hot course as well, but still waiting on that on that accreditation, which yeah. should come through for, for next year. So I think that's an interesting one as well. Yeah, so without uh, apart from cybersecurity, the information system, information yeah. technology and data science. Or ACS. Have ACS, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Okay, if there's no more questions, I think I did we can... see one here about the early course. Um, yeah, yeah. If students five then can you apply for bachelor program? So, so in terms of English package option, um, depend on the country level, but for level two countries, we don't recommend they package more than thirty weeks. So if they if the student is applying for bachelor, then they need to minimum they need to have a minimum IELTS four point five English to package with the bachelor program. Okay. If the student have a band five, then they can package twenty weeks mm. and enter the IELTS six point zero bachelor for masters. Yeah. Right. All right. I think, uh, yeah, that's a good time today. And uh, yeah, oh, is there one more question? Level three, yes, <laughs> Pakistan level three. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone for joining today. I uh, hope you enjoyed and you could really see uh, how brilliant USQ is. Uh, and as you can see, very competitive uh, against many universities in, in Australia and especially those last points talking about employability. The price point as well it's really uh, a great option for international students particularly uh, for southeast asia so we'd love to see your applications uh, come through and please let me know or grace or farid or jazzy uh, russell any of uh, your your colleagues uh, and your your uh, in-country representatives let us know uh, any of those questions and uh, we'll help we'll be glad to help you with those applications uh, to to usq um, and that will that will do for the webinar today and look forward to seeing you at the next one and once again thank you yinji for your presentation today always always welcome thank you thank you for this opportunity hopefully we'll see more application coming yes. through <laughs> yes definitely we'd love to see more coming through Cool. Thank you, Yinji. And Thank goodbye, you. everyone. See you at the Thank next you one. Thank you, everyone. Bye. We'll send the slides over. Yeah. Thank you.